Princess Madeline, the youngest daughter of King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia, has become a focal point of intrigue and admiration in recent years. Her journey is filled with notable events and personal milestones that captivate both the press and the public. But what truly drives her narrative? How does she balance her royal obligations with her desire for independence? Before we explore this fascinating story, make sure to subscribe for more royal updates. In 2018, Princess Madeline made a bold move that sent shockwaves through royal circles. She relocated to Miami, Florida, with her husband, Christopher O'Neill, and their three children. This decision stirred up discussions about her quest for a more peaceful life away from the constraints of monarchy. But what challenges did she face in this new setting? Living on another continent, she sought to juggle her royal responsibilities while embracing her roles as a mother and wife. In interviews, Madeline has expressed the importance of being both a royal and a woman who follows her own dreams. How do you think this balance impacts her sense of identity? Before her relationship with Christopher, Madeline faced significant trials. Her long-term romance with lawyer Jonas Bergstrom began in 2002 and led to high expectations, including whispers of a possible wedding. However, their breakup left a lasting emotional impact on her. Yet, resilience shone through when she found happiness again with Christopher, marrying him in 2013 at Stockholm's Royal Palace. This wedding was a major event, capturing the public's attention. But what does it say about royal expectations when Christopher chose to decline a royal title to focus on his career? Christopher O'Neill, a successful businessman with British and American citizenship, has often emphasized the importance of privacy for their family. In one candid interview, he shared how being married to Princess Madeline brings challenges, especially in handling public scrutiny. She is the love of my life, he stated, while also highlighting the difficulties of living in the spotlight. How does the public interest complicate their family life? Princess Madeline has faced criticism regarding her level of royal engagement. Some believe she should be more active, yet her choice to embrace a quieter life in Miami has been met with understanding. Everyone deserves their personal space, right? In 2019, significant changes in the royal family occurred when King Carl Gustav revised state funding for his grandchildren, including Madeline's. She welcomed this change, noting it would empower her children to choose their own paths free from tradition. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Princess Madeline's journey. If you found this story intriguing, please like, share, and subscribe for more royal insights.